video that I've got here is going to show you how to link your Twitter updates to your fan page status updates. Now, there's a number of different applications that will show you how to do this, um, but what they'll do is they'll end up putting it a, a new tab in, onto your fan page, and that's not really what I want. I want to be able to put my uh, my Twitter status updates directly linked into my uh, Facebook status updates. So here's what you need to do. Go to applications down the bottom left hand side, click on that, and you want to go and browse more applications. There's an application, uh, there's, there's 14 pages of Twitter applications available at the moment through Facebook. The one that I like to use is one called, um, it's called Twitter status. Let me show you. Type in Twitter, um, searching for the applications. It'll give me a result here and give me a result of all different things. The one I want to use is Selective Twitter Status Updates. Click on that one there. Wait for it to load up. Uh, go to application. Actually, I'm going to add it to my page. Just straight, straight add to my page. You click on this. Now, it'll tell you which page do you want to add it to. Pick on your own page. You can actually add this to your own personal profile if you want. But at the moment, all I want to do is add it to my um, my own page. I don't want to add it to my profile. Um, and the other thing to remember on this is that you want to make sure that you've got no other Twitter applications open or available because they sort of play up with each other. So for best results, get rid of all your other applications on Twitter and just use this one here. Okay, I'm going to go to my, uh, my fan page itself. So I'm back on my fan page. I'm going to edit the page. And you'll see that uh, it should have down the bottom here Twitter selective Twitter status updates. Click on uh, you want to do application settings. You need to set this up, and you need to uh, get permission from Twitter to do this. Now I'm going to edit the uh, I'm going to edit the application itself. Now you want to find out what what what's your Twitter name. Put your Twitter name in there. Um, it's going to ask you for permission. You need to. Uh, click on the the line that says give permission. What that will do is it'll let you load, load, uh, log into Twitter, put your password in there, and then allow the application to grab the information from there. So I'm going to hit save changes. Um, I want to allow selective Twitter status to access um, all my information. Once that's done, let it load up. Um, click allow status updates for that and we're almost done. Now one thing about this little application is that when you go to uh, when you put your tweet down, I'm going to show you that now, let me just uh, let me just open up a new file. Sorry, I didn't mean file, I meant my Twitter account. Now here's what here's what you need to do, there's a little thing, you, a little trick you need to do at the end of your tweets. So let's say I'm going to put a tweet down and it's called creating a video for fan page updates. Now what I do need to do at the end is put hash FB. Now hash FB signifies that that's a specific selective Twitter status update um, tweet. It'll have your uh, hash FB on the end of your normal tweet. If I hit update you'll see that down the bottom it's got my hash FB but let's go to the um, let's go to the, tw the uh, Facebook page and you'll see that that FB that hash FB does not come up. Now, the other thing that you need to remember is that it can take up to two to three minutes for it to update your status update. But um, you know that's not too bad considering. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that now. There you go. I've just fast forward a minute fifteen on the video, um, and as you can see, creating a video for fan page updates, there is no uh, hash FB on my status update, um, and you can see it's via selective Twitter status. So there you go, pretty easy way to do it. Um, there is uh, not a lot of information out there on the internet to um, find this info. So hope you enjoy it, hope you use it. Um, good luck.